there have been a lot of people who have criticized the Bible. A lot in the past and a lot right now that ridicule the Bible, diminish the Bible, put down the Bible. But I'll tell you, it's the Bible that has changed my life. I was thinking today about a little fellow that I think about every now and again. His name is Porphyry. Let me uh, spell his name for you. P-O-R-P-H-Y-R-Y. -R -R -Y. Porphyry. I think about him a lot. I'm very sad as I think about it. Porphyry, he lived, oh, in the mid-200 A.D.s to about 305 A.D. He lived to be at about 70 years old, but he wasted his life. He was a philosopher. He was known as the philosopher of Tyre, T-Y-R-E. In many ways, this man had a lot of aptitude. He was a brilliant man in many ways, but he squandered his life. He made a conscious choice against the Bible, against Jesus, and against God. Finally, he wrote 15 books, one five, 15 books against Christians. In fact, that was the title of the books. Against the Christians was the name of it. 15 books, 15 volumes. Uh, how many copies of against the Christians. Out of that 15 volume set, how many uh, copies are in existence today? A grand total of zero. Mr. Porphyry, you wasted your life. You wrote books that nobody even has anymore. They're gone. They're over. But there's still plenty of copies of the Bible in the world. You went against God, Mr. Porphyry. You wasted your life. And it's foolish to try to fight God or to try to fight the Bible. You're always going to lose fighting against God. Uh, it's the Bible that teaches us how things came to be. It's the Bible who teaches us what life is all about. And it's the Bible who answers the important questions of life, including where will I be after I pass away? So there's one way to heaven. And the Bible teaches the only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. So, Mr. Porphyry, I wish you hadn't written your books. And anybody who followed your foolish ways, I'm sorry about that. In the 400s, there was a leader who rose to power, and he ordered all of Mr. Porphyry's books to be burned. Actually, books that are against God and against the Bible, they are just rubbish. They're just trash. You know, God allows people to make choices, and Mr. Porphyry made his choice, and he never changed his mind. See, there's been people who have made the wrong choice, but later came back and repented. Maybe you find yourself in that position, that you've taken a position against the Bible, and you've taken against a position against God. Well, change your ways before you die. As best we know, Porphyry never changed his mind about the Bible or God. That's a tragic way to end your life. Please do not follow the ways of Porphyry. No, turn to Christ. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I want you to love the Bible. I want you to read the Bible. I try to read through the Bible every 38 or 39 days. I try to read at least 30 chapters of the Bible a day. And it's the Bible that is directing me and helping me and feeding me as a Christian. How can you expect to be a healthy Christian if you don't feast on the Bible every day? The Bible is our food. Our exercise is doing the will of God. <laughs> Prayer is our breath. So don't let a day pass without reading the Bible. Love the Bible. Obey the Bible. It's the book that can change your life. May God bless.